So here we are on my second generation Fire TV and we can just confirm in the background I'm running Fire OS 5.2.7.4 and that is the latest version of Fire OS 5 on these devices. But watch what happens when I now press that home key. And we are now once again back with a custom launcher on our legacy Fire OS 5 devices. So no more promoted content, no more Amazon adverts. We can now enjoy whichever launcher that we like. And also, as you can just see at the back there, we even have working widgets. So that really is a world first on these devices because that was just something that was never possible before. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also enable the custom launcher on your legacy Fire OS 5 devices but then also configure them so you can enjoy widgets on your home screen. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin this process on your device, make sure you've got ADB debugging enabled. Once you've done that, let's press the back button. Let's go to about just to confirm what our IP address is because as you know, on these older devices, we cannot make any ADB connections directly on the device itself. We have to do it from another device like maybe a phone or maybe a tablet or in my case, I'm going to use an Android emulator. Okay, so my IP address is 139 or ends in 139. Let's now press the home key. Let's now go over to my website so we can download the new applications. And then just type in the letters TDUK and click on go. And this will then do a search query for those four letters. And I'm hoping my website um, is either the first one or the second one. Okay, we can see it's the first one. I can now click on that. And as soon as I get there, I can go over to the hamburger menu and let's click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can enable the custom launcher on all of your Amazon devices. And I will leave links in that tutorial for if you are running the newer devices like the second generation Fire TV Cube or the 4K Fire Stick or even the brand new Fire Stick Lite. So really, whichever Amazon device you're using, you will find a link to a tutorial for your particular device. Okay, let's open that up and here it is. Now, let me just give you a quick summary that the way this works on these older devices is completely different to what we experienced on the 4K Fire Stick or the newer second generation Fire TV Cube. And the reason for that is, as you guys know, this is running an older version of Android. And on this particular version, we cannot use the same commands or the same processes that we used on the new devices to enable the custom launcher. So what actually happens is, if I scroll down, Here's just a step-by-step -step instructions. And that's the key screenshot there, guys. So the next time you press the home button on your device, the Fire TV settings will detect that. As soon as it detects that, it will then quickly launch the custom launcher for you. Now, depending on your device, it may take a second or a couple of seconds before you see that custom launcher. And whilst you are waiting, that's the screen that you'll see, but I will demonstrate that in real time. Okay, let's scroll down. And we have three files in total that we need for this process. So the first two files are for your actual Fire Stick or Fire TV or any Fire OS 5 device. And the third thing is what you want to install on your cell phone or your tablet, or in my case, I'm going to install it on my Android emulator. And that's the application that's going to make a connection to our Fire Stick or Fire TV and then grant the permissions to the Fire TV settings. Okay, so let's get the first one. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down. So these are the special Fire OS 5 settings click on download and then click on install. Once you've done that, let's press the back button and let's now install the second thing, which is the Amazon settings. Let's click on that. And I will explain exactly what this does once we are further in the process. Let's scroll down and also click on the green button. So that's the second thing we've installed on our device. And the third thing we need to install onto another device. And I'll show you that in just a second. Let's just press the home key. So here is the new Fire TV settings and going further to the right. And that's the new Amazon settings. So they're the two things we need to install on our device. Now, before we open this up, we have to give it permission. And the way we give it permission is by using that third application on our remote device. So let's jump over to my Android emulator. So here we are on my Android device. I can open up the same tutorial page. 
I can now scroll down and here is a toolbox that we need to install. Let's click on that. And once you can scroll down and click on the green download button and click on download. And of course you can also install this onto your cell phone or tablet or really any other Android device as long as it's running an Android version higher than version five. Okay, let's now click on open. And here is the Fire TV toolbox. And let me just say a massive thanks once again to Sween Wolf, who's a developer who's actually made all of these toolbox and helpers. So many thanks to him for that. Okay, so the only thing we need to do in here is enter in the IP address of our Fire TV device. And we know in my example, my device's IP was 192.168.0.139. Let's type that in and let's now click on connect. And this will then make an ADB connection to your Fire OS 5 device. Let's click on connect. And then we can just see that my toolbox is now connected to my Fire Stick. Now, the first time you do this, you will see the ADB prompt on your device asking you to authorize the connection. Now, if you don't see that prompt, as you know, all you need to do is go into your settings, my Fire TV, developer options, and just turn ADB debugging off for a couple of seconds and then turn that back on. Once you've done that, try connecting again and you'll then see the ADB prompt. Okay, so now that we're all connected, all we need to do now is just click on set up the Fire TV settings. So let's do that now. Let me now jump over to my Fire Stick. And as soon as you click on that, on your Fire Stick or Fire TV, you'll then see this screen. And as long as you can see where it says the watchdog service is started and the permissions are granted, you're good to go. Now this is the key thing we need to make sure that's ticked, which is the launcher detection, because this application needs to detect that you press the home button so it can then send you to the custom launcher. And in my example, I'm using the Wolf launcher. Okay, so now that that's ticked, let's now click on save. Now you will see this for a second or two, and there we are guys, we are now inside our custom launcher. So do give a thumbs up for that. And now one thing to mention here guys, the ideal way you want to use this is to utilize your back button. So for example, if I open up this application, now once I've finished using it, I should really press the back button and press it again. And I'm back in my custom launcher. For example, if I'm inside uh, this application over here, again, when I finish, I can press the back button, press it again, now I'm once again back inside the custom launcher. And the only reason I'm recommending that guys is because with this particular workaround, for example, if I'm inside this application and I now press the home button, that's going to send me back to the stock launcher for a second or two, as you just saw there, and then it'll take you back to the custom launchers. So just to minimize that kind of waiting, if you can always back out of your applications by pressing the back button instead of just pressing the home button. But of course, if you do press it, it is still going to work. So for example, if I'm inside downloader, I click on a few things. I now press the home button. We see the home launcher for a second and that should then take us over back to our custom launcher. So of course guys, it's not ideal and doesn't work as good as the fixes we have for the 4K Fire Stick or the newer second generation Fire TV Cube. But unfortunately, due to the way that Fire OS 5 works, this is the only way we can get the custom launcher working on these older devices. Okay, but we can see guys, no more Amazon adverts, no more sponsored content. And we can now enjoy this amazing launcher on all of our legacy devices. And for example, if you want to change the background, I can press the context key, go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper. I can now select the wallpaper, go to my storage, go to the downloader folder. And here we have some of the other wallpapers I downloaded before. Let's try this one over here. And there we are guys, we can now enjoy this beautiful wallpaper on our custom launcher. Now the other key thing which we've not done before is how we can actually get these widgets working on these older devices. Now to do that is actually a very, very easy process because of that Fire TV toolbox. So let's jump back over there for a second and we can just see guys, so if I want to enable widgets on the Wolf launcher, all I need to do is just click on go. And this will then apply the permissions so we can use those widgets on our custom launcher. So let's go back to the Fire Stick. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, 
do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Now to install widgets, I recommend using an application called Aptoid TV, and there will be a link to that on my downloads page. Let's open that up. Let's go to the search. And in this example, let's just do a weather widget. So I'm just gonna search for weather. Now most of these widgets are actually designed for cell phones and tablets or something with a touch screen, so they're not all going to work. But I know for example, this one here. So if you install that one, let's press the home key. There we can see that message just for a second. And we're back inside the custom launcher. So once you've installed that weather widget, I can now press and hold here. I can go to pick a widget and we can now see all of those weather widgets in here. So let's go for this one over here. And there we have it guys. We now have widgets working on these older devices. Okay, so now let's say for example, you want to access the stock Amazon Fire TV settings. Well, you know guys, if you hold the home key, let's click on settings. And because the way that the launch detection works is you're about to go to the settings, but then you're sent back to your custom launcher. So the easiest way to access your stock settings is to use this icon over here. So let's open that up. And that will then take you back into your stock settings. So if you want to change your Wi-Fi settings or look at your developer options, you can do all of that stuff here. Now, if you want to go back to your custom launcher, you need to press the home key once. Open up any application. And the next time you press the home key, and that will then take you back to your custom launcher and we can see it's done exactly that. Okay, so the last thing, how do we actually go back to our stock launcher permanently? Well, the easiest way to do that is open up Fire TV settings and where it says launch detection, you can untick that, click on save. You can now press the home key and that will then take you back into your stock launcher. And then you can leave the Fire TV settings there in case you want to try the custom launcher again or if you want to completely remove it, you can also uninstall the application. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know so many of you are asking for a custom launcher fix for these older devices. So I do hope you like this one. Do let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.